In this video, I'm going to explain how to link your tours major landmarks that are listed on your tours page and which were added when you submitted the final touches of your tour to Google locations. To do this, we're going to start by going to the publisher dashboard and going down to the list of tours. Next to each published tour in the third column, which is the manage column, we will see the manage distribution icon. I am going to click on manage distribution. And this will open up the distribution tab for this specific tour. So you'll need to follow the process and the steps that I'm explaining in this video for each one of your tours individually. Once you're on the distribution tab, we will scroll down to the new section, which is called Google Things to Do. And this is displaying the major landmarks from your tour. You'll then want to click on edit. And again, this will bring up the editable list of locations. Now, if a Google icon and Google Maps appears next to one of the locations, it means that it is already linked to a Google location. Our goal here really is to link as many major landmarks to Google locations as possible to maximize visibility for your tour alongside these locations. To convert the locations, we're going to use the search bar at the top to find each landmark as it appears on Google. I'm going to start with the first location here, which is the Granada Theater. And this will bring up the results from Google. If the correct location is here, which in this case, it's the top one, I'm going to click on it. That'll pull it into the search bar, and I then need to select Add. Each time I add a, a Google location, it will add it to the bottom of the list. So we can see here that the Granada Theater linked to Google has been added. I then need to go back and delete the original text entry location by clicking on the X next to it. That is going to avoid any duplicates. If you're searching for a location that isn't listed on Google, you can add it as text only. Or if it is a location that is already included as a tour landmark as text, you can leave it there. If I'm wanting to add a location that is not on this list and it doesn't appear on Google, I'm just going to type an example as an example here. I can type it in the text box and click Add as Text, and that will add the text entry to the bottom of the list. For now, I'm going to delete that. Remember, though, that the more locations that are linked, the better. So ideally, we want to have as few text entry locations on this list as possible because the more text entry locations there are, the less impact the Google Things to Do integration will have. You then need to repeat the same process for each one of these landmarks. While you're doing this, you might want to also just make sure that duplicate, uh, any duplicate locations are deleted. And it's also worth looking at the order of the locations and reordering the locations uh, into the same order that you would have them appearing on the route and that users would have come across them on the route. You can do this by clicking on this icon on the left and dragging the location up or down, depending on where on the route the location appears. So we can drag the locations up or down so that they appear in the correct order. At the bottom, you will see the option to save. Clicking Save will save your updates and allow you to come back to make more changes. This will not submit the changes to us, but it is useful if you want to come back to finish the updates at a later time. Once you have updated all the major landmarks and you are then ready to, to submit these changes to us, you can then click on the Submit button, and these will submit your changes to us.